I feel like if you went to someone, right, that was trying to pick you up and you were like, I'm asexual, <laughs> they'd be like, oh, me too, baby. What type of freaky <laughs> thing is that, huh? <laughs> I know. It's. I think usually when I'm just like, oh, like, I, I don't have sex, that's not going to happen. They're like, a virgin. Oh. Yes, a pure woman. Oh. And I'm like, oh, God. Oh, oh God. No. Oh, no. I have had guys do a celebratory virgin dance in front of me. It looks a lot like an Irish jig. They're both black, which made it even stranger. But <laughs> I have had, they're literally in a club doing that and I was just standing there like, I'm a go. Whenever I'm out with my straight friends and I'm in the club, there's always some guy that will like come up to me and be like, oh, hey, and I'll be like, oh, you, I'm lesbian. And then they'll be like, you just didn't have the right peen yet. <laughs> That is very much, yes, the whole, oh, you haven't met the right person yet. Like, oh, you're too young to know what your sexual orientation is. I feel like if I was straight, I could have worked it out by the time I was 10 and everyone would have been quite content with that. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're anything but, then all of a sudden, it's like, you just don't know for some reason. Yeah, I could already just hear the people saying, asexual people just didn't have the right pee. Or like, just think that asexual people are just virgins as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, I happen, I am, but that's not a preconceived, <laughs> that's not a prerequisite. I just happen to also be one of those. Yeah. But yes, I always find like whenever guys say that to me, especially like straight guys and they're like, oh, you know, you just haven't, you know, had the right guy yet. And I'm like, well, maybe you're gay and you just haven't had the right yeah. guy yet. I, and not period. I mean, if we're gonna apply this logic fairly, then there is by that logic you could easily be gay and you just haven't noticed either Honestly. like if my sexuality can be unlocked by the right penis and so can yours yeah the stereotype shirts are now available for a limited time go get them now what is the biggest stereotype that you hear being asexual the main thing is that people even even within the ace community is a thing is that people sort of see it as a reflection of your personality type and your interests and just like other aspects of your character which should be completely unrelated to your sexual orientation. I find it very annoying, but like everyone kind of does it, even ace people do it. Um, and it's kind of just like that you should be sort of low key or like you don't really get sex. It's so confusing, I don't understand. It's like, no, I do, I get it, I just don't do it. When people are starting to realize they have crushes when, you know, when they were 11 and when they were young, did you ever have a crush where you were like, with that person. It wasn't really like I want to be with them. It was kind of like I kind of want to be them. Like I just want to incorporate them into me, but not in a sexual way. Yeah, yeah. My first one was probably like Lego Last from Lord of the Rings. Daddy. I wanted to be him. I like took archery classes and everything. It's like I want to oh. be him. <laughs> and then like Billy Joe Armstrong from Green Day. I was like, I'm going to dress oh like him. And now I do. I don't want to be with you. I just want to incorporate elements of you that I find cool into me. That was kind of more the way like my crushes tended to work.